The Halloween Horror Nights 2023 speculation season is in full swing, and in today's video we're going to be discussing the current rumors that we have surrounding this year's event. Every year around spring, Halloween Horror Nights fans look forward to the speculation maps that get put out by Horror Night Nightmares over on Twitter. And in what appears to be the earliest speculation map release ever, we now have an idea of what we can expect for Halloween Horror Nights 32. Before we get into the rumored haunted houses for the 2023 season, I need to ask you guys a huge favor. I recently had my hours drastically cut back at my day job. Job, so I'm relying now on YouTube more than ever. If you guys could do me a huge favor and leave a like on the video, that would be greatly appreciated as it greatly helps out the channel. See this adorable puppy right here? This is Emily, and Emily loves to get pets. If you leave a like on this video, I'll give her a pet. If we could get this video to a thousand likes, then I promise you she will be the happiest dog in the world. Look at that face. How could you say no to this? According to YouTube, only 40% of you guys watching right now are subscribed. So if you loved my Halloween Horror Nights content of the past and you want to stay up to date with everything going on with this year's event, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's totally free and you can always unsubscribe later. All right, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the rumors. We're going to pull up the speculation map for Horror Night Nightmares and we're going to make a full loop around the park, starting with the very first haunted house that we can expect to see at this year's event. Now, something important that you guys need to keep in mind, everything that you're about to see in here is pure speculation and rumor and it is subject to change, with the exception of one haunted house. So make sure you take today's information with a grain of salt and don't get your hopes up too high. The first and only haunted house that we have confirmed for this year's event is a house that we actually got confirmed at the very end of the event last year, and that is Chucky. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? <laughs> Boom! Yeah, that's right, I'm back. And I'll see you suckers at Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights next year. An all-new haunted house, inspired by the hit USA sci-fi series Chucky, is coming in 2023 to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Orlando Resort and Universal Studios Hollywood. I can't wait to play. <laughs> and catch new episodes of Chucky, Wednesdays at 9 on USA and Sci-Fi. Now, the last time we saw Chucky represented at Halloween Horror Nights in his own dedicated haunted house was back in 2009, during the Rift from the Silver Screen year of the event. This haunted house that we have been confirmed to get for the 2023 season is going to be based around the TV series on USA and Sci-Fi. Now, we don't exactly know whether this is going to be based around just season one or just season two, or if it's going to be a combination of both, but either way, I am very excited to see this property come back to Halloween Horror Nights in its own dedicated haunted house. Next up on the speculation map from Horror Night Nightmares, we have Universal Studios Studios monsters, Phantom, and Dracula. I can't exactly say fans of Halloween Horror Nights are surprised that we're rumored to get another Universal Monsters haunted house as we've had a Universal Monsters house for the last three events. And they've always been some of the most popular and some of the most beautiful haunted houses of the event. So me personally, I'm very excited to see this property return and with a new monster being represented in Phantom of the Opera. Now, unfortunately, this isn't going to be adapting the Andrew Lloyd Webber Phantom of the Opera. We can expect this to be an adaptation of the classic 1925 Phantom of the Opera movie made by Universal Studios. The last time we saw Phantom of the Opera was in the very first Universal Monsters haunted house that they did back in 2019, so I'm very excited to see him return and possibly go up against Dracula. I always look forward to the Universal Monsters haunted houses because historically they are some of the scariest and the most beautiful haunted houses that Halloween Horror Nights has to offer, so seeing it possibly come back for another year is a huge win for me. Next up we have a property that was scrapped from last year's rumored lineup for Halloween Horror Nights 31, and guys with the TV show having its season finale finale this Sunday, I think it is very likely that we are going to be seeing The Last of Us come to Halloween Horror Nights in 2023. Now, is this haunted house going to be based on the TV show or the video game? I have no idea. I guess either way you look at it, it's based off the video game, but you guys kind of know what I mean. If you guys have been keeping up with the TV show, then you guys know that they haven't exactly been focusing on the infected as much as they have the humans, which I guess in a post-apocalyptic world like that, the humans can sometimes be seen as a bigger threat than the infected, but either way, the show is definitely not as scary as the games. If Universal Studios is going to adapt The Last of Us into a haunted house, I really hope that they pull from the video games rather than the TV show, because the more infected, the better in my opinion. There's a lot that they can do with this haunted house, and all I have to say is if The Last of Us does get adapted into a haunted house, this needs to go in its own dedicated soundstage, and it needs to be a massive soundstage at that, not one of those soundstages where they have to share with another haunted house. I don't know, you guys let me know 
your thoughts and opinions on that one down in the comment section below because I'm very curious. Next up, we have our first original haunted house rumored for this year's event, and that is Krampus. Now, the last time Krampus was represented at Halloween Horror Nights in his own dedicated haunted house was back in 2014, and that was when the haunted house was based off the movie that had just recently come out. This year, however, Horror Night Nightmares made it a point to specify that this was going to be an original property haunted house and not based off of the film. So there are several directions that they could go with this haunted house. They could always go the comedy route like they did with the haunted house that was based off the movie, or they could make it a more grounded and more gritty, scary haunted house. The story of Krampus revolves around an evil Santa type figure that takes revenge on naughty kids. So the one haunted house that I can kind of compare this to is Revenge of the Tooth Fairy, where these evil gremlin type creatures go into a haunted house and kind of take revenge on a child and their entire family as a result of them not following the rules of the Tooth Fairy. So you can kind of take that concept from Revenge of the Tooth Fairy and apply it to Krampus, and that's something that I can see possibly coming to fruition at this year's event. Also, another theory that I have is Halloween Horror Nights saw how successful the Residence Haunted House did over at Bush Gardens Hollow Scream just down the road. And I feel like they wanted to take a little bit of that Christmas Halloween action and bring it to this year's event. I know personally, I was very vocal last year about how I loved the Residence Haunted House and how they successfully managed to blend Christmas and horror together into a very well done haunted house. So it's really no surprise to me that Universal would want to take a piece of that pie. The next rumored haunted house on our list from Horror Night Nightmares doesn't have a name, but rather it is an image of an anchor and it has the word original down at the bottom. So this is going to be another original property haunted house. And this is pretty much up to our interpretation. Now we do have a few rumors out there as to what this could possibly mean. A lot of rumors are pointing to a sequel house to the very successful Dead Man's Pier Winter's Wake haunted house from last year, which I could easily see them doing that because they knew how popular the house was last year. It was an absolutely gorgeous house. While it wasn't the scariest, it was visually stunning. So making a sequel house to that would be a very smart thing to do. However, for me personally, I'd like to see them either bring back SS Frightanic or The Forsaken. Now, while I never got the opportunity to go through SS Frightanic, I would like to see them bring it back in another form so that way I could experience it for myself. And I personally remember going through Forsaken and that was a very well done haunted house back in the parade building and I'd love to see them do it again. Next up on our list, we have the horrors of Blumhouse, Megan and Insidious. So this haunted house would once again be going into the Fast and Furious Supercharged Q, and I of course have some mixed feelings about it, but there is a positive and a negative to this scenario. Let's go ahead and start with the negatives. For me, the horrors of Blumhouse haunted houses haven't exactly been the best haunted houses. Historically, they have been among the lowest ranked on my list at the end of the season, as they're not exactly the scariest and and not the most well done. But at the same time though, if this means that we get a Five Nights at Freddy's Haunted House next year, whenever the movie comes out, then I am all for it. As I mentioned earlier, the rumored properties that we're getting for this haunted house is going to be Megan and Insidious. Megan, as you know, is a horror film that came out last year about a killer doll. I haven't personally seen the movie, but I have heard some good reviews specifically about the unrated cut. So I'm very much so looking forward to checking this movie out at some point whenever this property does get confirmed. And we do have Insidious. Now, we don't know if this is going to be based on the first Insidious movie that we ever got, or if it's going to be based on several of the other movies in the Insidious franchise. Either way, I was a big fan of the Insidious Haunted House when we first had it in its own dedicated haunted house on Halloween Horror Nights, so I'm very excited to see what they can do with it this year, and hopefully they can break the curse of the horrors of Blumhouse not being a very well-received haunted house. Next up, we have the possibility of a haunted house being once again taken from a scare zone concept and being adapted into its full-blown haunted house, and that is Lair of the Banshees. Now, the Lair of the Banshee was a scare zone that we last saw back in Halloween Horror Nights 26, and I honestly don't know what to think about this. Halloween Horror Nights 26 was unfortunately a year that I did have to miss as I unfortunately was not living in Florida at the time. So looking back on pictures and video from that year's event, I definitely think that Lair of the Banshee has a lot of potential for its own full-blown haunted house. If they could somehow put this in a forest-like setting in one of the sound stages, I think that it could work really well. But other than that, I don't exactly know know where they could go with this property. So we're going to go ahead and move on. Next up, we have another original property that is being pulled from the popular haunted house from 2018 Slaughter Cinema, and that will be called Devil Dogs. Now, if you guys remember back in 2018, we had a haunted house called Slaughter Cinema, which is a classic spin on the intentionally terrible B movies that you would see back in the day, where you walk through the haunted house and you're just walking into B movie after B movie. And Devil Dogs was one of those B movies that we 
saw represented in the haunted house. The most recent haunted house that we saw come to fruition that was based loosely off a of property that we saw in Slaughter Cinema was Yeti Terror of the Yukon. So if they do something like this again with Devil Dogs, I'd love to see what they do with this. But at the same time, I don't know how this would expand into its own haunted house as basically it's a story of a werewolf biker gang that goes into a bar and just terrorizes the place. So I don't exactly know what they could do with that. We've already been hearing rumors that this particular property has been scrapped since this original speculation map came out. So who really knows? Next up on our list, we have another symbol that is up to our interpretation. And this has fans pretty excited because again, this is kind of left up to our interpretation and we haven't had any concrete information come out yet regarding this property, but we have a guitar and a lightning symbol. Now, of course, last year we had a haunted house that was entirely based around an artist. And it's not the first time we've had a haunted house based around a musical artist as well as they have tried to work with Billie Eilish in the past. We had The Weeknd last year and before that, we had Alice Cooper. So there is a good percentage of the Halloween Horror Nights fan base that is predicting that this is going to be a haunted house based around Metallica. However, for me personally, I see a guitar and a lightning bolt and I think about Stranger Things, particularly that one scene where Eddie Munson is on top of the RV playing in the upside down with flashes of red lightning in the background. That's what I would interpret it as and it would be really cool to see Stranger Things come back to Halloween Horror Nights to cover season four. I do think it was a huge missed opportunity for Halloween Horror Nights to not do Stranger Things last year because I do think that there is a lot that they can do with the Vecna character and with all the creatures that we saw in the Upside Down last season. But I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comment section below. Do you think that this means that Stranger Things is possibly coming back to Halloween Horror Nights? Or if you think this is something else entirely such as a haunted house based around a musician? And finally, ladies and gentlemen, our last original haunted house that we have rumored for this year's event is a bunch of Japanese symbols. <laughs> I popped this into Google Translate and it came up with Japanese creatures. Now, when I first heard this, I was like, what the heck are they going to do with this? So I decided to take it upon myself to do a little bit of research. And guys, I think that this could be a very popular property for this year's events. There's a lot of potential when it comes to Japanese creatures and folklore that are meant to terrorize folks. So I think this has a lot of potential to be a very scary haunted house if this is done well. I'm going to go ahead and link a video down in the description below from Watch Mojo talking about the top 10 scariest Japanese creatures. So that way you guys can go ahead and get an idea of what we could possibly see at this year's event if this rumor does come to fruition. All right, guys, well, that is going to wrap it up for the rumored haunted houses that we have for this year's Halloween Horror Nights event. The last thing I want to go ahead and talk about is some logistical stuff. Now, not only do we have the rumor that we are possibly going to be seeing 11 haunted houses at this year's event. Do I personally think that this is going to happen? Absolutely not, because we've had this rumor for the last several years now. But anyways, logistically, I want to talk about the two new entrances to some of the haunted houses that we have in the back of the park. Now, with the loss of the Woody Woodpecker Kid Zone area, we do not have a way to access the haunted houses from that area of the park. So Horror Night Nightmares has placed the two new entrances to these haunted houses that we would see in Woody Woodpecker out in between the Quickie Mart and the Simpsons ride. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a graphic up over here so that way you guys can see with red and blue representing the two different haunted houses with red going into the parade building where we saw Universal Monsters last year and blue representing the haunted house that goes into the warehouse where we saw the weekend after hours nightmare. Now after going through and doing some research, this is the only possible route that I could see working for this year's event. So I think it's safe to say that we can expect a pretty long walk when we're exiting both of these haunted houses. Again, this is just my own personal theory based off of what I saw when I was doing a float ride for Mardi Gras this year. Even though the Woody Woodpecker Kid Zone is getting completely demolished, all that backstage area and the road access is still there. We still have that backstage access to and from the ET area where that extended queue is where we would normally exit out of for these two haunted houses. So this is the only route that I expect to see happening this year. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's video, talking about the rumored haunted houses that we have so far for this year's Halloween Horror Nights event. As always, guys, make sure you are subscribed to the channel to get notified whenever we do have any Halloween Horror Nights breaking news, as I will be covering each and every breaking news and haunted house that gets revealed as we get closer and closer to this year's event. If you enjoyed any part of today's video and you want to make my small dog Emily happy, please go ahead and leave a like on the video. And if you are new around here and you want to see more content like this in the future, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as it greatly helps us out. Drop a comment down below to let me know what you guys thought of today's video 
and what you think of today's rumors and what you guys want to see come to Halloween Horror Nights this year and in the very near future. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, and I will see you guys in the next video.